So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through Apple Business Manager, show you where you can find your organization ID, as well as show you how to add a reseller as an approved vendor in your portal. So the first thing we wanna do is actually log into Apple Business Manager. To do that, you go to business.apple.com. Once here, you'll be introduced to the homepage. Um, for the walkthrough, I'm just gonna go from the very top all the way down. So we're gonna hit the activity field. This is just, this is everything that happens in your portal. So any new users that uh, sign up for the portal, um, any devices that are signed or released, is just this is just your overall activity feed. Locations, when you first sign up for a, a Apple Business Manager, the first location is automatically going to be created and reflect your organization's name. As you expand uh, the use of Apple Business Manager route throughout your organization, uh, locations or offices, you can continue adding more and more locations there. So it's really flexible how you, uh, how you can architect this. How my team uses this is we have a, a variety of teams that are just testing things with Apple Business Manager. So to make things easier, we have different departments here um, and I assign different roles to those departments so one person doesn't have access to everything um, there so that's how we use them just if there's a lot of flexibility and, and creativity of how you want to use locations within your organization as well down to accounts this is where um, all your admins your your content managers your people managers uh, everyone within that has access to be App apple business manager will be housed here uh, to create a person just go at the very top fill out the fields uh, create a managed apple id so uh, Apple recently released managed Apple IDs. That's something I'll cover in another video, um, but that's something that you can create here. Uh, choose your role. So people, device, content, staff. Staff is what I use for managed Apple IDs as part of uh, the new iOS user enrollment. And then choose your location. So if you are using multiple locations, you can assign people to those uh, to those specific departments or, or sites, however that may be. And then adding an actual email address. So it's important there that we actually have a real email address because we we will need to send an automated email to that user to sign up for the portal. Roles, we have the administrator that is responsible for Apple Business Manager at the organization. You can have multiple admins. I do recommend alt uh, multiple admins uh, on the account. Uh, the reason being is uh, every September, Apple comes out with new terms and services and someone has to sign into the portal and accept those. And if we if that person's on vacation and doesn't accept those, uh, that it's gonna cause some issues down the road. So that's just one example, but uh, I do recommend multiple uh, admins on the account. Uh, people manager. People managers are responsible for the specific locations within the organization. So they can be assigned to any location and manage individuals and content. Uh, device managers are um, essentially just manage the devices and the MDM server. So if we are needing to assign devices that coming from a reseller, now we need to assign them to, a, uh, to an MDM server. That's one of the roles that the device manager will do. Uh, the content manager is responsible for the volume purchasing, all the apps that we purchase through volume purchasing program, which uh, I'll highlight in a later video. That's a, that's a whole nother topic there, but, and then staff. Uh, again, how I use staff is uh, for the new iOS user enrollment, I just create, when I need to create a managed Apple ID, I assign them a role as a staff because as a staff member, they can't go to business on Apple and sign with their Apple managed Apple ID. It just gives them an error. So they can actually get into Apple Business Manager. So that's how I use uh, staff there. I'm actually going to jump into assignment history before I go into device assignments. So assignment history, anything that comes from your reseller um, will, um, or through Apple Configurator, all that activity is gonna be housed here. So you can click on anything. You actually, if, if, if an order comes from a reseller like CDW, you'd actually see the CDW order here. And then more importantly, you can download the CSV file that contains all the serials of that device. Um, so once we download that CSV files, we can go to device assignments and then upload that CSV file here or, or upload the serial number or the order number. And then more importantly, choose the action. So we can actually choose which MDM server we want those devices assigned to. So that is the, uh, that's how we use assignment history and device assignments. Apps and books. Uh, this is part of Apple's volume purchasing program. This allows you to purchase applications as a corporation and deploy those to your devices. So um, it's pretty easy to you just go up here at the top search for the application that you want and then um, uh, purchase the amount of licenses that you want and assign those to your MDM 
Um, so I'll, again, I'll, I'll jump into value and purchasing program in, a, in another video. That's a whole nother topic there. And then we'll go down to settings. So this is the meat and potatoes. This is where you're gonna find your organization ID. Under enrollment information, under organization settings, here is your uh, Apple Business Manager ID, DEP ID, organization ID, however you wanna call that. Uh, but this is a number that any reseller is going to need when uh, enrolling devices for you. So in the case of maybe purchasing a device through CDW, um, CDW will need this, uh, this organization ID in order to enroll those devices. Under device management settings, hit this edit button under customer numbers. This is where you add a reseller as an approved vendor to your portal. I have to stress this is very, very important. If you're procuring devices through a reseller and they're adding them to your ABM portal, you need to add them as an approved reseller. If you do not, your devices won't show up until you do. So it's really important, very easy, just uh, whoever you're procuring those devices from, if it's CD, in the case of something like CDW, just ask CDW for their reseller ID and then uh, add it here and then click done and you're good to go. Furthermore, you also see this add MDM server right here. So I talked about this in a previous video, um, but uh, this is where we would actually add an Apple Business Manager server that would talk to our MDM. This is an important step. We need an MDM server to talk to our MDM because that's, his, that's how we assign devices to, to our MDM is through this process here. You can see right now, I've got multiple MDM servers. You can create as many MDM servers as you want. There's no limit there. Uh, some organizations have one MDM server for Mac OS, one for, uh, for iOS. You can really architect how, that however. Some just have uh, just have one MDM, MDM server for everything. I'm gonna show you a pro tip here real quick though. When you do create your MDM server, if you want, a, if you want some automation, um, you can um, under select the MDM server, and then go to de default device assignment and hit change. Under here, you can you can assign, say, I want all iPads to go to this server. I want all iPhones to go to this server. So all iPods and, and so on and so forth. So if, um, if you don't want to manually go in every time, download the CSV file, assign it to a server, and you just want that to automate itself, this is how you do it. Just a quick pro tip there. I, I find it valuable and, and reduces the amount of time that I have to log in Apple Business Manager. So, uh, But that is the walkthrough of Apple Business Business Manager, how to find your organization ID, and how to add a reseller as an approved vendor in your portal. I hope that was valuable for you. If you have any questions or, or feedback, please place it in the con comments. If you even got any uh, any feedback um, or say, hey, uh, I do this, or you got this a little wrong here, please please place it in the comments. I, I love to I love to collaborate with the community and and try to make make videos as best as possible. So, but again, thank you and enjoy your day.